Hi guys! Okay, so I just got in not even like five minutes ago from doing some shopping, which I'm just really excited about. Um, a lot of it isn't really colorful stuff, like no blushes, no eye sh super colorful palette eyeshadows. It's a lot more kind of stuff I needed backups of. Um, there is some stuff, obviously, like lipsticks, lip glosses, whatever, eyeshadows. But anyway, it's more like stuff I needed backups of, etc, etc, so... I'm going to start with kind of the more miscellaneous, boring stuff first. Although I don't consider this boring because this stuff is amazing. I did not know they sold this at Target. This is the Starbucks Caramel Macchiato. You know, I'm supposed to be doing a makeup haul, but I think this is just as important as makeup. So, um, I love this stuff. Um, I also like the vanilla latte, um, but I just, you know, I don't know why I just got this one this time. Oh, my hair looks all crappy right here. Okay. Anyways, but yes, this stuff is amazing. You can find it at Target. I never knew that until recently, so I love that stuff. It's amazing. Um, I bought some shoes just because I needed some. They're just simple black shoes. They were cheap. I just needed, you know, an extra pair for work, and they're like 20 bucks. So I'm like, hooray for cheap sneakers. Um, I also got a backup of my Neutrogena Combination Skin Moisturizer. I just needed a backup of it as well, and it's like, might as well. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I also got some razors, no big deal, Venus Olay. And then I got a backup of my body butter by Boots. I think I mentioned this in one of my previous videos, the December favorites one. Um, this is kind of my everyday lotion, and I use the one by the body shop more on special occasions because it's more expensive. It's like twice the price. So I use that one on a weekly basis or daily basis, whatever, and the other one I use it only on special occasions or when I'm going out. Um, next is from Ulta. It's got a loofah. Well, not just a loofah. Um, I went to go get my Batiste dry shampoo, the one for dark hair, but they didn't have it, so... Um, I had originally purchased this, and then I tried the dark one, and I liked it, but they didn't have it, so I just went back to the original one in the meantime, because I was going to buy two of the other one, but might as well, just in case. Um, let me get my other stuff out. Some of these items I'm probably going to return, because I, I already kind of tried them, and I, I didn't like them. Um, I got a backup of my Colossal Cat Eyes Mascara. This is a really good mascara, especially for a drugstore. It does really add, like, a little oomph and like a little flare at the end. I don't know how it does it, but it just really does kind of make it look more cat eye-ish. Um, this is a great mascara. Um, this is probably one of the products I'm going to return just because um, they don't have a lot of options, so I'm pretty sure this is just not going to match me because I went to CVS later and I thought this was kind of between fair and I thought this was the next color and when I, at CVS, they had medium and light as well, so I'm pretty sure I'm medium, so this is probably going to be too dark for me. So I'm probably going to return that. Um, I'll probably also return this. Um, this is one of the nude lipsticks by Maybelline. It's one of their kind of nude collection. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of it on YouTube. Um, it's just not my... First of all, I don't like the smell. Second of all, I don't like the color, which is kind of the main point. Um, it's just a little too kind of orangey for me. I don't know. I just didn't like it. I'm kind of slowly realizing that I only like nude, really, really sheer nude lipsticks or really opaque nude lip glosses. I don't really like an opaque nude lipstick. I don't know why. So, um, speaking of nude lip glosses, I picked up these two. I picked up this one at Ulta. This is one of the new Maybelline, I think, color elixirs? Yeah, the elixirs. And this is in Caramel Infused. It's more like a pinky nude mauve color. And that's what it looks like right there. And then at CVS, I picked up this one. This is more nude-ish. So, I, I kind of... I was going to get more of a, the mauve one, but I figured since I already had this one... I try a nude one. So this one is by L'Oreal. These are the what is it called? Okay, I don't know what it's called, but I'm sure you guys have seen this. They're they're new in the drugstores. Um, this is in the color Nude Ballet 601. Don't know if you guys can see that, and that's it right there. More on the nude side, more peachy nude. My God, what is it with my hair? Just ignore my hair in this video. Anyways. 
Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna just test this out, but I'm most likely gonna return it because um, I also bought a concealer somewhere else. Um, everybody raves about this concealer. Everybody that's tried it has raved about it. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I finally kind of, you know, decided to try it out. Is it called Bit the Bullet? I don't know, something like that. Um, so I got color matched. Um, some of you guys asked me what color I am in MAC foundations, concealers, etc. Um, I can't tell you because I've never had one. So I finally got um, color matched for one and I am in NC30. This is what it looks like. And I just kind of wanted to try something different than my Amazing Cosmetics concealer because I feel like that one's getting too dark. And it's really opaque and it does crease a lot. I mean, it has amazing coverage, but I don't know. I feel like I can get a cheaper one that does a little better. I don't know. Maybe not as opaque if you have really, you know, a lot to cover, but I don't. I don't feel like I do. I'm not even wearing foundation right now. I don't know. I'm okay with not wearing foundation. I just put on blush and bronzer. And then I really wanted to try something for, a, I've really been wanting to try the extra dimension kind of line. I, I've never tried any of those kinds of products. So I got this eyeshadow and this is in Sweet Heat. And it was the last one. So I was like, oh, thank God. I was also going to try a blush, but I am figured I'd try one of these first. And this is what it looks like. Isn't it so pretty? Isn't it pretty? I can do a swatch of it real quick. It's gorgeous. Great pigmentation. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's also on my finger. I just been really wanting like a beautiful kind of nude champagne beige gold color. You know, I'm really picky. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I'm really picky with my products. And finally, my Sephora bag. Again, these are more like back, not really backups because these are all new products to me, but they're not um, colorful products per se. Um, I've been really wanting to try a new primer just because the professional just really isn't cutting it for me. I don't know how to explain it, but I just been wanting to try something new. So. I got two new primers just to test them out. If I like them both, I'll keep them both. If I only like one, I'll keep one. If I don't like either one, I'm going to return either one because they're pretty expensive. Um, so I got one by Laura Mercier. This is the Secret Finish Mattifying Primer. And this is what it looks like. It's just for, for oily skin. Basically, I wanted one that was mattifying. <laughs> I tried the Dior Flash one in the store, the primer. It's like an aerosol can. Oh uh, my god, you have to know how to use that thing really well if you're going to use it because that thing is scary. I tried it on my hand and I was just like, maybe I, I probably should have sprayed it from farther away, but I sprayed it and I got really concentrated right there and it instantly turned to powder. Like it just made a big pile of powder on my arm and it just kind of scared me so I decided not to get it. <laughs> Even though everybody raves about it, it just kind of intimidated me. Um, so instead I also, I tried this out on my hand in the store and it feels amazing. It feels like very lightweight, almost watery, but the finish it did on my hand was just like so soft and silky. I'm just like, I have to try this. I don't care how expensive it is. I think it's like 50 some dollars. But this is the Hourglass Mineral Mineral Veil Primer, Veil Mineral Primer, oil free, has SPF 15. I just had to try it. I mean, if I don't like it, I'll just return it. But I don't think it works. And then I just got another one of these um, lawn comb. It was one of the hundred point perks. Um, I really, I had gotten one already, and I really liked it, so I got another one just so I don't have to purchase it. Technically, I mean. I did spend a hundred dollars for to get it, but well now. You know, you have to spend the amount of money to get the amount of points. So at some point I spent a hundred dollars. It's kinda of pricey for a little mini mascara, but whatever. It's just a translucent powder powder by Laura Mercier. I have I kind of raved about a lot about my makeup for everyone, the translucent powder, HD translucent powder. But even as much as you like a product, at some point you're all like, okay, I just want to try something different. So I still have a lot of my HD powder left, and I decided to try a new one as well. I feel like you get so much more product for like less, uh, a smaller price. 
Well, no, no, no. It is more expensive, but what am I saying? Okay. It's a dollar more, and I feel like you get so much more product in here um, I, than the Makeup Forever one. So this one is by Laura Mercier. This is the Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. So it has kind of a small little tint to it. There's like a sifter, a tiny, tiny tint. It looks like somebody with like ivory fair skin, like ridiculously fair skin. This would be their color. It's like barely any tint to it at all. So it's not completely stark white, but it's not super flesh toned color or whatever. So that's it for this kind of haul video. Um, I will have another haul video coming up soon. I bought some, I ordered some stuff online from Sephora. So that should be coming in. I just ordered it this morning. Because I just went on a shopping spree or something. I don't know. I was just so excited. Um, but those, again, are more like backups than, you know, more colorful stuff. So you guys can look forward to that. It'll be like an unboxing video. So, oh, and one last thing I got are these glasses. I am like so addicted to glasses. I don't know why. They're real. They're Ray-Bans. My other ones that I wear in every single video are Ray-Bans. These are awesome. I love Ray-Bans. I love big glasses. I just love glasses. I don't know. I love the kind of nerdy look. But, um, so yeah, I just got these. 11 bucks. That's what I'm talking about. This is what happens when you have good benefits at work. So, um, I only paid $11 for these bad boys. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!